guys, today I'm gonna go Shinza. As all of you guys know, the coronavirus outbreak is kind of serious in Korea right now. I'm just gonna check if like Shinza is gonna be busy or not. Wish me luck. I can't find my hand sanitizer. Lol jokes, I found it. I've been told that these masks are pretty much useless against airborne viruses like the coronavirus. But I still like to wear one just to feel a little safer. If you need a mask, I do recommend the KF94 as it covers the sides of your faces as well. Bye guys! The bus was so empty. Actually, the only pro to this outbreak is the lack of crowd. Now we have arrived at Shinsa station. I recommend leaving through exit 8 to explore Shinsa Karosuke. I've passed the Dr. Jad store several times before, but today is the first time I'm going inside. I was really amazed at how aesthetically pleasing this pink theme looked. I mean, look at these wings, they're so cute and fluffy. You just know you have to touch it. I love how the store made this level look like a science lab. I definitely want photos for the gram. I'll probably come back to take photos. Wonderland which is outside had a green theme which looked really sleek and modern. It juxtaposed the earlier theme from inside. The third floor was a karaoke room. When I entered one of the rooms, I didn't know they had a camera on the TV monitor, so my reaction was... <laughs> I wish I came to Dr. Zhao with someone. Oh shit, yikes. So what I realized was that while editing this, it looked like a sponsored ad for Dr. Zhao, keeping in mind that it's not. This is my go-to restaurant when I come to Shinza. Reason being, the price is reasonable and there's so many options to choose from. I got the salmon nigiri because the only raw fish I eat is salmon. By the way guys, the udon was a service. Zoom out. Oh man, look at that steam. Lately, when I eat out, I'm always sanitizing my hand before touching food. Welcome to my mukbang guys. I realized that the rice was crumbling when I picked it up, so I had to use a spoon. Oh, just watching myself eat makes me so hungry. Oh my god, no, that was the saddest moment of my life. The udon was so good as well. I can't believe it's for free. The video doesn't do justice on how good this sushi and udon tasted, especially my nonchalant face. Sorry guys. Look how empty the streets are. It's usually really busy. This is my favorite makeup store to go to. I love all their products here, especially their lipsticks and eye palettes. I'm a proud owner of three multi-eye color palettes. I love the makeup bags as well, I own the plastic one. I recently discovered this yummy cookie shop. The options are so diverse and it smelled heavenly in there. Guess which one I got. I'm so excited to try this. I chose dark chocolate chunk because I love dark chocolate. Another empty street on my way to a -Land. I really love a -Land because it sells a diverse range of products. But sometimes the prices are just like, what? Why is a shirt over 100 bucks? Like, is it made from gold? Sneak peek of an outfit, and yes, I did buy it. 
This is Indie Brand. The clothes here feels minimalistic and simple. Actually, this outfit is from H&M, but I just added that in. Final stop, Olive Young. There's never been a time where I just pass Olive Young without going in. And I always end up buying something, such as lipsticks. But today, I bought some Medi-Heal face masks. Okay, it's not some. I bought 10. Another empty street. Now I'm heading into the subway. Today was such a tiring day. I was really surprised when I saw this many people at the metro. Like, where were you earlier? Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share and leave a comment below if you enjoyed this video.